Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Samuel Kamore Warushadi. And more to that, I'm born again. I love the Lord for saving my life. I welcome you to our youth service this morning. Being the first Sunday of uh, the month of May, I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of our, our young people wherever you're watching us from, Karibu Sana. May you take your Bible so that we may go through the word of the Lord together this morning as we listen to what the Lord has for us. Before we start, shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful this morning for the opportunity to come and listen to your word. We pray this morning that you may speak to us in a simple language that all of us as young people uh, may understand. This is our humble prayer of faith in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Uh, I bring to us the word of the Lord, and uh, I am going to read uh, John 14, verse 25 to 31. John 14, verse 25 to 31. The word of the Lord says, all this I have spoken while still with you. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the word as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you will be glad that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happened, it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not speak with you much longer, for the prince of this world is coming. He has not hold on me. But the world must learn that I love the Father and that I do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come now, let us live. That is the word of the Lord. The topic that I have for us this morning is who is the Holy Spirit? And um, I want to speak to us on a series of the Holy Spirit. So the whole of this month, we shall be reviewing and uh, trying to understand the Holy Spirit. So today, I bring to us who is the Holy Spirit. As we have read from uh, the book of John 14, 25 to 31. It is so evident that the Holy Spirit is God and he does what God can do. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity who was with God from the beginning. He is the third person of the Trinity who was with God from the beginning and he remains at work even now in the process of sanctification. As we try to understand the question of who is the Holy Spirit, I would like us to just read a few verse or one verse from the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. The Bible says, in the beginning God created heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. So it is so evident that the Holy Spirit was there even before creation. The Holy Spirit is the breath of God. This morning, as I try to help us understand who the Holy Spirit is, Acts of the Apostles says that the Holy Spirit is like a person and does only what a person can do. According to the Acts, the Holy Spirit is like a person. 
the word of the Lord says in Acts chapter 1 verse 16 that brothers and sisters the scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judah so the Holy Spirit is speaking to us even now through the men of God through our preachers through our mentors the word of the Lord says that the Holy Spirit is speaking the same way a person speaks. Another thing that we can get from the Acts of the Apostles is that he causes others to speak. In the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 4, the word of the Lord says that the Holy Spirit causes others to speak. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. And these are the disciples and the people who had gathered during the time the Holy Spirit visited them. The word of the Lord says that all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. So the Spirit of the Lord causes others to speak. And this is evidence from the book of Acts 2 where it enabled, or the Holy Spirit enabled the disciples to speak in other tongues. There are so many verses and chapters we can speak about the Holy Spirit and how like Acts chapter 5 32 where he bores witness the Bible says we are witnesses of these things and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him we have so many contexts we we can refer to when we want to really bring or really help us understand about the Holy Spirit the book that we have read of John 14, verse 25 to 31, the Bible says that the disciples were worried and upset by the talk of betrayal and Jesus leaving them. The disciples were worried. They didn't know what to do after Jesus had left. So Jesus knew that his departure time has come. And he knew that his departure will bring or will leave a great effect on his disciples. Why? Because the disciples were so close to him. He was walking with them. He was living with them. He was teaching them. He was counseling them. He was a friend to them. He was a father to them. And he was their guide. The word of the Lord says that he tries to make, he tried as much to make them understand the reason as to why he's living. So they could not understand why Jesus was speaking to them about his departure. But Jesus tries to make them understand. He tried to make them understand why he has to depart. The word of the Lord says that his departure means he's returning back to the Father. He is going back to the Father. The Father sent him, and now because he has accomplished his mission, he is going back to the Father. What does this mean to us as Christians? What does this mean to us as young people? The word of the Lord says that when he goes to the Father, he is making a way for us. He is making a way for us as young people. He is making a way for us as young couples. He is making a way for us as men and women. To have access to the Father. Just know before then, we could not go to the Father. We could not reach to the Father because of our sinful nature. But because of his, uh, his death and resurrection, the word of the Lord says, when he goes back to the Father, now we have access to the Father. The word of the Lord continues to say that Jesus promised them that where he's going, he's going to get a permanent home for them. He is going to get a permanent place, a permanent home for us as disciples. He's going to make a permanent place for us as believers. And he says that when it's ready, he will come for us. When the permanent home is ready, where he's going to meet with the Father, when it is ready, he will come for us. Meanwhile, the word of the Lord says that his returning to the Father is packaged with goodness. The word of the Lord says that it will bring power. It will bring new powers to his disciples. His departure, his going back is a good package for the disciples who are being left, for us who are here. That it will bring new power and certainty of new prayers. 
It will help us to overcome challenges. His departure will help us to become effective in prayers. His departure will help us to become men and women of noble character. Men of women filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord says that the Holy Spirit will come and live with us. And these are the promises that Jesus promised his disciples when he was living. And he says that when I go, I will send to you the Holy Spirit who will be with you always. Who will live with you everywhere. He will be with you always and he will be everywhere. You see, the Holy Spirit is not limited by the physical body. The Holy Spirit is not limited at all. He is everywhere. The word of the Lord says he is always and everywhere. This means that he is not like Jesus Christ. Jesus was limited by his body. But this time round, Jesus is promising them a better, a better person, the Holy Spirit, who will be with them. The word of the Lord says in John 14, 26, that Jesus says to his disciples, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name. The Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things. And these are good promises that the person I am leaving you will teach you all things, even the things I did not teach you, even the things I forgot to teach you. He will teach you all things. And another thing is that he will bring to remembrance all what I had taught you. So the Holy Spirit was a good thing for the disciples. He was good to the disciples because he was to teach them new things. And he was to remind them of all the things maybe they could have forgotten about Jesus Christ. And this is a very powerful word for us even as young people when we are trying to understand who the Holy Spirit is, that he is here to teach us all things. He is here to teach us all good things. The Holy Spirit is here as a teacher to point to the cross, to point us to the cross, to point us to salvation. The word of the Lord says that the things that we have forgotten, he is bringing to remembrance. The things that we were taught when we were little children, and we have forgotten as young people because of the things of this world, because of the pleasures of this world, the Holy Spirit is bringing to remembrance. The word of the Lord says that Jesus knew that his disciples will be devastated. He knew his disciples will be worried, and he leaves them a better teacher. He did not deny them an opportunity to experience new power. He did not deny them an opportunity to experience a way, a new way of praying, praying in tongues. He promised them that I am living, but I am leaving you with a better, with a better person. The word of the Lord says that the Holy Spirit is a convict. He's acting as a judge to us. He will convict the world concerning sin. The word of the Lord says that the Holy Spirit is here together with us to prove the sin of this world. To prove to us that we are living in sin and we need to repent. The Holy Spirit is reminding us about the righteousness of God and judgment of this world. He's here to prove to us that unless we repent, we cannot have an access to the Father. Unless we repent from our evil ways, unless we are connected to him, we cannot have an access to the Father. The Holy Spirit is our advocate this morning. And the Bible says that he will speak on our behalf when the world want to condemn us, when our enemies want to condemn us. The word of the Lord says that he will speak to us as an advocate. He will speak on our behalf. He will intercede for us. We are living in times where some of us feels like the Holy Spirit is not at work. And I want to bring to us three things that the Holy Spirit is helping us and is guiding us in our today's life. One of it is relationship. The word of the Lord is reminding us that if we allow God to be our advocate in our relationship, 
what is happening in our relationships today. Statistics shows that there is a rise of separation. There is a rise of divorce. There is a rise of murder. There is a rise of lies. The word of the Lord says that the marriage is failing. Relationships are failing. When we are left on our own, we are weak and might fail. When we are left on our own in our relationships, in our marriage, in our interaction, in our communication, we might fail. We are weak vessels and we might fail. But when we allow the Holy Spirit to advocate for us, when we allow the Holy Spirit to work for us, to intercede for us, the word of the Lord says that the Holy Spirit will bring change to the way we think. We will have a change in our way of thinking. The Holy Spirit will prove in our relationship. He will bring to us a new language that there is improvement in our relationship. There is no failure, but there is improvement. The Holy Spirit is speaking to us this morning that there is improvement in the relationships that are failing, in the marriages that are failing. There is improvement. There is a new change in the way we are thinking. Another thing is our health issues. We are living in times where coronavirus, COVID-19 is taking place. And the world is filled with crisis. And it seems like our health is failing. The word of the Lord says that when we are left on our own, we will succumb to depression and might die. When we are left on our own, we might succumb to depression. We might fail. But under the advocacy of the Holy Spirit, we might improve our health. Under the advocacy of the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit intervenes, there will be a cure. When the Holy Spirit intervenes, there will be no depression. When the Holy Spirit intervenes, we will change our behaviors. The way we behave, we will change it completely. The word of the Lord is reminding us that when we allow the Holy Spirit to be our advocate, things will change. We will improve in our health. We will improve in our way of behaving. Another thing that is posing a challenge to us this morning is our work. And it is true that we as young professions, we are living in times where there is challenges. And one of the challenges is our work. You see, with this tragedy, some of us have lost their jobs. With this tragedy, Najuata Wengine, when you walikuwa meshikilia kazi mahali sasa wamekosa. With this tragedy, Najua Wengi ambao walikuwa may apply kazi sasa wamekosa. With this tragedy, Najua Wengi ambao walikuwa na hopes kwamba wataandikwa permanently, sasa hata contract imeisha. But I want to assure us this. That when we are left on our, on our own, we might be angry, we may seeth in anger and failure. To kiatu peke yetu kama watu, wadu, uh, kama vijana, we can be angry. To kiatu peke yetu, tuneza kuwa na failure, tuneza tharao. But under the advocacy of the Holy Spirit, we will change the way we work. Under the advocacy of the Holy Spirit, ata tusaidia kukua innovative. Ata bila kuandikwa tutaweza kufanya kazi. Uh, pale ambapo tumeandikwa tutaweza kufaulu pale ambapo tumeandikwa tutaweza kufanya kazi kwa ujasiri under the advocacy of the holy spirit we will be able as young people to change our attitude as young professions we will embrace the work that the lord has given us because it is so evident that losing our jobs is so easy so when we allow the holy spirit to work in us when we allow the Holy Spirit to be our advocate, there will be no failure. There will be no depression. We will not succumb into depression. We will not sit in anger because he will help us to overcome. The Holy Spirit this morning is assisting us as an advocate for the interest of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit this morning is helping us to go back to our Christ, to go back to God, to go back to where we had lost our way. The word of the Lord is reminding us that the Holy Spirit this morning is helping us to move away from failure. 
He is helping us to move away from depression and anger. Najua wengi tumekasirishwa na coronavirus. Najua wengi we are so angered. Tunauliza what is happening. But the Holy Spirit this morning is helping us to move away from this depression. Kuna watu wengi ambao wamejitoa uhai kwa sababu ya kukosa kazi. Kuna watu wengi ambao wamejitoa uhai kwa sababu walichukua loan kama young professions wakaanzisha biashara lakini haikufaulu. Kuna watu wengi ambao walianzisha ndoa kama young couples lakini hata mwaka haikuisha ndoa ikavunjika. The Holy Spirit is here together with us this morning to help us to move away from this failure. Maybe you have failed somewhere. Maybe you have failed in your business. Maybe you have failed in your marriage. This morning, may we allow the Holy Spirit to advocate, to intercede for us, to move away from these failures, to move away from these depressions which are making young people commit suicide. You will see people in relationship and they are young people. Lakini kwa sababu ameachwa na msichana ama ameachwa na kijana, yeye unapata amejinyonga. May the Holy Spirit help us to move away from these depressions, to move away from peer pressure, to move away from things that will make us lose our way. Many are the times we have been angry by our parents kwa sababu maybe hawajatufanyia mambo ambayo tulikuwa tunatamani. May the Holy Spirit help us to walk away from this anger and uh, may it help us may the holy spirit help us towards new conviction and empowerment may the holy spirit empower us this morning as young people may the holy spirit help us to become like jesus christ who overcame death may the holy spirit help us to rise again to rise in the places that we had failed there is victory in jesus name There is victory when we allow the Holy Spirit to be our advocate. When we encounter positive results, may we know that these victories have been brought by the Holy Spirit, by our God. My prayer this morning is that may we continue to hold on to Christ. You see, the word of the Lord is encouraging us because the Holy Spirit is as, is at work to continue in loving one another to continue in trusting upon the lord may we continue to love one another may we continue to trust upon the lord to have faith that everything is working for the good of those who trust in the lord may the lord help us may the lord help us even in the coming month of may to emerge victorious to emerge victors in in the name of our lord jesus christ As we continue to fellowship together in our Bible studies, in our devotions in the morning, may we know that the Holy Spirit is here to guide and to help us. May God bless us. Shall we pray? Our heavenly Father, we are grateful for you have spoken to us. Thank you because you have reminded us that may you are helping us to walk away from failure that you are helping us to walk away from depression and anger that may see us this moment and these times thank you for reminding us that we are living in dire times and please and times where the world is full of corruption where the world is full of things that may corrupt young minds and thank you our heavenly father for reminding us that the holy spirit is here as our advocate to stand and to speak on our behalf to speak of the things that are from you may you help us to walk according to your word and may you help us this morning to invite your holy spirit to come and lead us and guide us help us to overcome challenges help us to become victorious in our lives we commit that the whole of this week and the whole of this month you will walk with us you will be our shield you will protect us you will protect our families you will protect our jobs because you are god this is our humble prayer of faith through lord through the name of our lord jesus christ may the lord help us to continue trusting him this whole month shalom god bless us amen